What's up guys? Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I am so excited. I am embarrassed to say that it took me close to six years to finally film a measly video. But let me tell you, there's so much backstory, insecurity, scandal that I just never really got to it. But um, I decided to finally grow a pair and make it up on here. Like here we are. So I decided for my first video, we are gonna create this look right here, which is my everyday extra AF work look. A little as smoky, some lashes, you know, some, some sexiness, some sassiness to go along with it. But um, I hope you guys really enjoy this look. And uh, if you're interested in seeing how I created this beautiful uh, three eyeshadow, sexy everyday extra AF look, then continue watching. All right, so let's get into this daytime um, extra AF work look. Now, again, this is something that I do daily. And if it's something that is probably too much for you, then that's cool, you don't have to. But I like living my life a little bit extra. So we're just gonna get into it. So I've already um, uh, hydrated my face with the um, e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Primer, as well as the e.l.f. <coughs> uh, the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. So we're good on that. And now we're gonna prime. So I am using the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Primer. Or what is this called? Yeah, Poreless Face Primer. Perfect. So we are gonna be using um, this guy today. Really, really good. Um, and again, everything that I like to use, I like to find really great product on a budge. You know what I mean? Because I am all about beauty on a budget. I know the majority of us can't roll out and get like an $80 um, foundation. And that makes sense to me. You know what I mean? Even if I think, even if I had the money, honestly, it really hurts me to spend on anything over $50 on a foundation or on skincare, on, on makeup like that. It just, it has to be like over the top. Oh, and by the way, I'm going over my nose with the Clinical Strength um, Secret uh, deodorant because I'm a sweater, whoops. I am a sweater and I use that to help out with that. It really does block it and it actually creates like a barrier between my skin, the sweat, and the foundation so it doesn't rub off. However, I do like looking for um, foundations that don't sweat off. That's one of the first things that I look for whenever I'm trying something new. So um, the one that I am going to use today is Uoma. Uoma uh, Say What Foundation, I think this launched sometime this year, is relatively new. I can only find it at Ulta and one Ulta on Pico in LA. And it looks like this and it is really, really good foundation. This is probably one of the more expensive ones that I have. I think it's somewhere like 30 bucks. But um, it's a really, really great uh, foundation. So I am gonna go in and now I'm gonna start applying this sucker. I am just gonna use a brush just to put it on. And then I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique, Technique sponge and we're just gonna pounce her in. I feel something on my, there we go. And I really enjoy this. What is on my skin? I can feel it like pouncing. What is that? Um, so yeah, I really like this foundation. I like it because it's not this incredible full coverage, which is something that I'm usually really into. Um, but it gives me the finish that I'm looking for. And it does increase a lot, which I really, really like. One of the first things that I look for, obviously, like I mentioned, is the sweating because I'm a freaking pig. But the second would be creasing. Creasing, especially right here. I hate that. And whenever I find something that does it, I'm like, ooh, ma'am, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna be something that I gravitate towards because not only do I already wear, quote unquote, a lot of makeup, but I don't necessarily want it to be accentuated by lines. Like no one wants that, you know what I mean? And I'm not over here paying for Botox or anything like that. So I definitely don't want any of that showing. And if I can find something that minimizes it or doesn't show it at all, then I'm all for it. And this one for being 30 bucks, she does a job. I'm not mad at her at all. It's pretty good. And if you notice, I do have really bad under eye circles and hollowness. It's hereditary. 
I get it from my dad. And um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I cover those suckers up. And it's not like I do anything crazy. I don't even do color correcting, which I probably should get into if I'm being honest. But I just, I feel like that's such an added step to my routine that I don't wanna take on, that I just kind of deal. And I have found alternate routes to, to, to counteract that, you know what I mean? Like, I got the time. I'm already taking plenty of time doing this whole last phase. You want me to do one more step in color correct? Ma'am. But we'll see. All right, so I am going to go in with two of my favorite concealers. One is a little bit darker than the other. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Natural. I do like putting a little bit of this in here just to kind of um, even off the skin tone so that it's not ultra dark. But I will go over with an even brighter one and that's the Jouer. Oh my God, the Jouer, the Jouer, Jouer. I could probably get a darker shade in the Jouer, honestly, but um, because I do have it in my winter shade, because I keep in mind, I do like a really, really bright under eye. Um, damn lint. So the shade that I'm gonna put on is extremely light, but we'll blend her out and everything will look bomb.com at the end, I promise. I got you, I got you, boo. Before I forget, I am taking the Jouer Chiffon uh, Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. She looks like this, really, really good. And I like it because it does come with hyaluronic acid. Um, I know it has a bunch of other like uh, minerals and shit in there to quote unquote, make it nicer for your under eye, but um, oof. That is bright, girl. Holy hell. Ugh. I've been trying so many new concealers. I was like, let me go to my tried and true, but god damn, I haven't used this one in so long that it is so light. I'm, in a, I'm a little bit browner than I usually am. So this is gonna be a little shocking, but it's okay. We will make it work. We will thrive. We will survive. I probably should have said that in reverse, but whatever, it's too late now. She's too late now. Let's see. Blending and blending and blending. Yo, have you guys ever had where you're blending, more specifically pouncing, and you're pouncing so deeply, you're like, oh my God, I gotta do this, that your arm starts to hurt? And then I think to myself, whenever I feel that, I'm like, oh my God, am I really that like out of shape? Or weak? Damn, dude. Luckily, I don't feel that today, but you never know. My under eyes are looking real dehydr dehydrated today. Real dehydrated. And there's everything that I use, nothing seems to work. It is just texture for my under eyes. I don't know why. I do not know why. Some people are blessed with these beautiful under eyes and I'm like, ma'am, I'm like a Sahara Desert under here, girl. What do I do? But this uh, Jouer concealer is probably one of the better ones that is full coverage, but isn't as drying like the Tarte Shape Tape, even though that was my go-to for a very long time until I discovered this one. And this one is just, has helped out so, so much. But I think the texture under my eyes will just remain. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I have tried so many products and it's just nothing gives it a smooth appearance. Nothing, 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 which is really, really upsetting, but I mean, we can't be blessed with it all, I guess. At least not me. So now I'm gonna put that same Jouer concealer right here in the middle. We're gonna highlight this nose a little bit. We're gonna snatch her up. We're gonna get ourselves going here, okay? This is an everyday extra AF workday look. So we are gonna go for the highlighting, we're gonna go for the contouring, the bronzing, the overdrawing of the lips, honey, yes. Okay, so now that we are blended, I think I need a little bit of foundation right here. Let's just spritz our face. And I 100% forgot to mention, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Whoops, don't catch my face. There we go. Oh, this stuff is amazing. Hmm. 
Let's just dry her down. Yes, ma'am. So I am gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This has been my go, actually no, this is not my go-to. My go-to is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder, but I was too lazy to go pick a new one up. So I'll be using this, but this is my second wonderful foundation. So I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush and we're gonna pat this in real good. I am going back over this to smooth out any smile line creasing that could have happened already. And I am being very generous with this powder and I am making sure that I pat this into the skin. This is really going to ensure that everything sits in place all day long. One of my goals when doing makeup is to avoid having to retouch it at all. That is my goal. So now I'm gonna take my, this is my tried and true, NYX blotting powder. This is what I use to um, highlight or, or set the highlighted areas of my face. And I do have it in the shade light medium. And I really like this product because A, it's really, really bright, but also it comes with this really nice powder puff that I find super convenient in applying the powder and really pressing it into these areas so that there's no separation when it comes to like oil or anything like that. It's real, real good. Okay, that is enough. And now I'm going to take some of this and just really work it in there. Really work it in there. And I'm gonna take it all the way to the side of my nose to really start that contouring, girl. And then to the sides of my mouth. I feel like this powder puff just really allows me to like set that in, you know what I mean? There's no, there's no question if this is gonna be set. Ooh, this is a perfect face, isn't it? All right, so I'm dusting off all of this on the forehead because we're gonna go in and we are going to bronze up the face. So I am gonna take my favorite bronzer at the moment, which is a Wet n Wild, what is this? Color Icon Bronzer in the shade What Shady Beaches. And it does look like this, and it's just like this beautiful warm bronzer, and this is totally what I go for in looking for a bronzer. Forgot to mention, I am just using a basic regular fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics, this is the 124 brush. And this is my go-to bronzer and I just make sure to push everything into the hairline so that we are just nice in bronze yeah see we're cute and then I'm just gonna put a little bit on the sides of the cheek here bring a little shape back and then we'll go in and contour just a little bit there we go and this is really gonna play off of the light that we put in the middle of the face in the center of the face and just give that kind of contrast light against dark yes ma'am so now we're going to contour and I am gonna go in with my morphe what is this morphe 8l palette looks like this and I'm gonna go in with these two shades here should be good and I am gonna go in with my NARS brush honestly don't remember what it has to be some kind of flat flat top NARS brush but this is so old school you can see it um, and I just love brushes like this I even have one for my makeup kit because it just makes it so easy for me to apply that contour really carve out the cheeks and I don't have to think about it too much because the shape is already there. You know what I mean? I just gotta find the hollow and then just go for it. it. It makes it a little bit easier for me not to kind of overdo it if I was going in with like a fluffy brush or maybe even something that's a little bit more angled. Just makes it a little bit easier to, to contour that. I'm also gonna hit the bottom of my chin in order to create a little bit of a shadow. Let's look a little bit skinnier today, why not? Alright, so now that we're done with that, I am going to show you a little trick that I do to kind of carve it out. You know how sometimes you can get a little bit heavy handed and you can um, maybe drag down your bronzer or your contour a little bit too low? I love this brush because of the flat face that it has. So what I'll do with that flat face without putting any more product or anything, I'll just go through and I'll clean up underneath that contour. It is the easiest thing. 
I don't have to put more powder on my face. I don't have to sit with powder on my face. That just kind of cuts it for you. So, so good. So I am gonna go in with the uh, Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5. And uh, I am going to very lightly draw this sucker in. And I can't tell you how amazing it is to have eyebrows because prior to that I had hardly no anything. And it took me so long and now it just hardly takes me any time at all. This is just really, really great. So I'll go in and very gently, so you can still see the strokes and all of that, but I will very gently kind of go into those uneven areas and then just fill it in, so. This I love so, 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 so much. All right, and on to the next. You see how fast that is? I love it. I am gonna go in with my favorite carving brush, and this is from Bedellium Tools. This is the brush 140, 156, sorry. And it's just this really nice kind of flat, look how thin that is. It is perfect for carving out brows. So I'm gonna go in with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Natural Concealer again, and we're just gonna carve her out. Because I do really enjoy a nice, strong brow. All right, cool, so I am going to start my eyes. So I came across this Target brand. I don't know if it's a Target brand, let me be honest. I don't know if it's a Target brand, um, but it is these eyeshadow palettes. They were $9.99, and the first, this one caught my eye because of all of the beautiful colors that it has. So I am gonna be using these three shades um, for my everyday eye look. Actually, oh yeah, they will be three shades. Um, for my everyday eye look. So, I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush. This one's dirty, but whatever. This is the Morphe JS5 brush. Uh, looks like this. I'm gonna go in with the shade Statement, which is this middle shade here. And we're gonna make a statement with these eyes. Statement being, I'm a business bitch. Don't at me. And I'm just gonna work it into the crease. It is the perfect transitions shade look at how pigmented that is are you kidding me i'm looking at it in the monitor and holy cow this is amazing wow 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 and i'm gonna pull it out because i do like to give myself kind of like that eye look you know a little bit more almond shape because my eyes do turn downward just a bit enough to where i need to actually do things to counteract that Okay, do we like that? We're into it. Let's keep it moving. So now I'm gonna take this other Morphe brush. It's a little bit more tapered. And stop focusing on my face, will you please? There we go. Um, and I am going to go into this shade here called Nostalgia. The darker of the three. Definitely like a warm, light chocolate brown. And I'm gonna work this into this outer area of decrease. So I am taking this yellow shade in the palette with this flat Morphe brush. And we're just gonna pack, are you gonna focus? Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're just gonna pack her on the lid to create a nice little contrast. And then I'm gonna buff out the edges just so that it looks like a smooth transition. That works. All right, so now we're gonna go into my technique of doing eyeliner. And this is me using a black eyeshadow. This is something I've done for years. I like doing this because I feel like it's more forgiving and easier to handle than a liquid um, eyeliner. So I am gonna take just a regular angled brush I'm gonna take the black shadow, this one here, from the Wet n Wild um, 
what is this house of thorns uh, any not any black eyeshadow because they should be able to be wet but most black eyeshadows or most eyeshadows in general if you wet them it'll be okay but this one excuse me this one is so I'm gonna create my wing and I like the black in this one because it is very very dark very dark and now I'm just creating my killer cat eye so I can snatch bitches wigs off when I walk into the office Yes, 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 yes. All right, and now we're gonna curl these lashes because we hardly have any. So we can apply the falsies on top and do them some justice. I really feel like this look is created with the lashes. It creates a vibe. And what I really like about this look is that I feel like you can definitely take it from day to night. Even though, I mean, the title of this is extra AF work look, I still feel like you can take it for work or from work tonight, like happy hour. If you're going on a date after work and you don't have time to go, you know, refresh your face or change it up or something. This is a look that can carry over where you still look like you're put together and you tried and you're not just whatever about it. You know what I mean? So I am taking um, some pretty fluffy lashes. These are in the style Sophia from this, uh, what you guys call AliExpress uh, brand. And they look like this. Any basic uh, fluffy um, eyelash will work. Or any eyelash that you want, honestly. I just like being extra. These are long, these are super fluffy, and I'm just really into them. And I'm also going in with my tried and true, I envy, super strong, um, uh, 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 eyelash glue which you can find on my Amazon store I mean you can help a girl out if you want to you don't got to be that rude about it but uh, it's on there and it is my favorite it's so strong you can cry through it you can fight through it I mean you can sleep with them they are wild or not they but it is so incredibly incredibly good it is my favorite so when you're out in the streets being a drunken little mess and you get into a fight, these will hold on through it. When you're crying on the curb because you're being arrested for that fight, these will hold on through it. When you're taking a picture for your mugshot, these will hold on through it. I wouldn't know, but I'm guessing. Okay, so now um, as I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I'm gonna dust off this powder that has been baking on thy face for a minute. Perfect. I'm leaving this here because I really want it to pack in there so that there's minimal creasing. Um, so I am going to take the Morphe bronzing palette again, and I'm taking this amazing brush, which I don't know if it even exists anymore, the company. This is from Makeup Addiction, and it has this beautiful angled tip to it that is just perfect for snatching up the nose. So I am going to darken up this tip right here. And all of this is gonna be a play on light. So we want my nose, or at least I want my nose. And side note, I'm a boogery bitch. So every video, expect to see some kind of tissue popping out because the nose is always running. It's like doing makeup with ansia. So I'm taking the bronzers right to the sides where that previously placed face powder was and just enhancing it. And one of the tricks that I do is I actually darken up the nostrils as well. I feel like in doing this with playing with the light, it really, really helps. And then I'll just buff everything out so that it's nice and soft. And if I feel like I need a little bit more in the tips, I will do that. In the tips. Ugh, what is happening here? Don't start disrespecting your nose, okay? Because every day you're perfection, and then today of all days, you wanna start acting up? You wanna start playing games? Okay. So, we're gonna highlight. We're moving, we're moving. 
we are moving today i am going to take the lorac mega beam highlighter in the shade celestial this is such a beautiful highlighter it is beyond blinding it is just wild take a look at this i mean ma'am yeah you're good you're good and i like you I'm wetting this BH Cosmetics number four highlighting brush, and we're gonna use her today. And we're gonna go through on the high points of the cheeks, obviously. Carry her up a little bit, and I like doing this just to kind of blend her out a smidge. Same for this side. I mean, hello. Hello. Is anybody listening to me? Hello. And I do this to kind of melt it into the skin a little bit more so that it looks a little more natural. And then, uh, I take a little baby brush like this. You see how small it is? It's perfect for, for what I'm about to do. I spritz it with some uh, setting spray. I dip into the highlight and then I tap the tip of my nose. There we go. And then I hit this here too. And then right in here. Yeah. Today I'm gonna go in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in the shade Daydream. I am such a fan of coral blushes. They are just so, for me, I just think they're really beautiful and they make me feel happy. You know, like I wanna smile because my cheeks are rosy and corally and pink. It is just real pretty. And I do hit the apples of my cheeks pretty generously. Mm hmm see I love this glue I can immediately feel how tacky it is to my eyes it is so bomb Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah, just kidding I don't know what shade of lip liner this from the LA girl ultimate um, intense auto liner but it's kind of like this darkish if you notice this darkish shade and I like it this is good for contouring and it plays well with the lip product that I'm gonna put on on top I am gonna start lining my lips and I am gonna overline the bottom specifically because I like it to look like a little heavier, poutier lip, but I overline all of it, technically. All right, so we've lined the lips and now I'm gonna take my forever tried and true Morphe lip crayon in the shade IRL in real life and it's just like, forgive me, she's messy, but I use it every day and it's just like this beautiful, are you going to focus? this beautiful pinky um, lip color and it just looks so good against this lip liner. Mmm, juicy. So I am going in with the Essence, uh, what is this, Essence Lash Princess. Um, to do my lashes today. And I am very fast when it comes to applying mascara, especially when I have falsies on, only because, I mean, I'm just sticking them up there and you can't see them, so I don't need to be any kind of precise or perfect. No, I'm shame. We just want like that baby doll look. And I feel like this mascara definitely definitely gives up all right guys so this is the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i think it's relatively simple to create i mean it did only take three eyeshadows um but let me know what you guys think in the comments below is this something that is simple is it something that you think you would do i know it's a little bit extra but don't come for me i am just extra i am just extra extra everything annoying sassy 
a bitch like I'm just that person you know what I mean but again I really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for watching my first video and for supporting please make sure to subscribe to this channel give it a big ass thumbs up leave some comments below let everyone know that I've officially made it to the YouTube platform and I am so excited to bring you guys more content um, until then stay cute stay sassy and I'll see you guys in the next one peace